A lot of you have work or school off today. It's all because of one man, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today, like every year at this time, people across the nation march and rally in honor of MLK and his legacy. Here at home, it was no different. Our Shira Matsuzawa joins us now with a look at the events that happened today here in Boise. Yeah, Maggie, hundreds of people gathered at the Capitol this morning to celebrate his legacy. What do we want? Yes. When do we want it? Now. From Boise State University. We marching! We marching! To the steps of the State House, people of all ages from across the Treasure Valley marched and rallied in honor of Martin Luther King Day. The people united will never be divided! The people united will never be divided! And inside, music and dance filled the marble encased building while Idaho Governor Brad Little proclaimed Monday an extra special day. Now, therefore, I, Brad Little, Governor of the State of Idaho, do hereby proclaim January 20th, 2020, Martin Luther King Jr. Idaho Human Rights Day in Idaho. As we all know, Dr. King concerned himself with racism. As he put it in 1968, racism is total estrangement. It separates not only minds, but bodies and spirits. Some of our legislators have expressed concerns to me about such separation, wanting to ensure that if people gather apart from each other, they also come together again. Boise State University President Dr. Marlene Trump was the keynote speaker. His efforts helped to change the world. In this moment, such an approach can be transformative. She, along with others who spoke out, encouraged everyone to continue to make Dr. King's dream a reality. And that was just an overview of today's events. And coming up in our next half hour on the News at 5, our Joe Paris will give you a unique perspective to today's march when he shares the stories of how one family had generations participating in today's events. Maggie? All right. Thank you. Very special mm -hmm. there at our State House today, Shira.